Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about a common misconception among couples where they believe that uh, chromosomal abnormalities of the, each partner is, is what's causing a miscarriage or a stillbirth. So uh, in many hospitals, uh, couples are usually diagnosed with chromosomal abnormality and then doctors will tell them that they cannot have children of their own so they should either go for adoption, surrogacy or just divorce and find a healthier partner. And because of this type of uh, ill advice, it has destroyed many marriages. When in reality, uh, chromosomal abnormalities usually does not play any role in your miscarriage or stillbirth. There's actually a, another reason that is causing it. But because uh, either you or your partner have been diagnosed with some form of abnormality, they believe that that's the reason that's why your Pregnancy isn't lasting very long and you keep constantly miscarrying. So uh, let me explain to you the types of chromosomal abnormality that exists and which type that you belong into. So first of all, the most dangerous type, also known as lethal abnormality, which means it is a genetic mutation that is, that is lethal. So this usually happens during the uh, early stages of the embryo's development. So very early days of the pregnancy and this form of uh, lethal mutation is dangerous because of its genetic instability usually uh, the genes the chromosomes display itself in polyploidy or haploidy so normal chromosome states should be in 46 chromosomes so two sets but for this type of uh, abnormality they exist in haploidy which means they only half of the chromosomes are there or there are more than 46, for example, there's 69 or 92. So there's too much. And during cell division, uh, the process is very unstable and the embryo withers. So uh, to explain, uh, to give it more emphasis, you or your partner will not have this lethal mutation because if you do, you would not be born in the first place because you will need to be alive to transfer it to the next generation. And this lethal mutation usually uh, is very, uh, rare to be seen in this in this day of age because it's usually been uh, completely eliminated because there's nobody surviving with this lethal mutation you are unable to transfer it to the next generation because the person who has this is never made it to the uh, pregnancy so you are not having a lethal mutation the second type is another common one that we can see which is a deformity causing mutation which means uh, people with this type of mutations they are usually born with some form of uh, disorder such as Down syndrome, Turner syndrome, Klinefelter syndrome. Usually they arise because of some mutation of the sex chromosomes. So either they have partially formed or excess of the XY chromosomes, which why they would have this type of uh, disorders. So people with this uh, abnormality, they are uh, universally infertile, which means they are unable to have children. So it's you are usually, usually if you are normal and healthy, you are not having this type of chromosomal abnormality because you don't have a Down syndrome, you don't have Turner syndrome, you have normal XY chromosomes, so you do not have a uh, deformity causing abnormality. The final one that I want to touch on is the carrier mutation, which means you are carrying a certain mutation from generation onto generation, which means you are passing it on. And this is the most common type of abnormality that we find with a lot of patients. So this type of mutation is where the chromosomes are either inverted or translocated, something that we call chromosomal translocation or chromosomal inversion. So there is no missing or lack or excess genetic information for this type of uh, mutation. The genetic information is exactly the same as a normal human being, a normal healthy chromosomal uh, development. There is no difference. Only difference is that uh, certain genes are either positioned elsewhere or they are either inverted or inversed. It's just a position, a, prop, um, a matter of position. So people with this type of chromosomal abnormality will not have any uh, problems or disorders or issues. They are just like any other human being. Only problem is, only issue is they have translocated or inversed chromosome. It does not affect their daily life. They are able to have healthy children and it of course does not cause any stillbirth or miscarriages.
So if you are diagnosed with chromosomal abnormality by your doctor, you are most likely or most definitely belong into the carrier mutation. And there are several patients with this type of mutations that carry on and go on to have healthy children. The only thing is that they pass down this type of mutation, which is a harmless mutation and does nothing to affect your pregnancy. It is most likely that you have not been completely diagnosed. There is something other than this uh, chromosomal abnormality, which is a non-factor that is causing your miscarriage or stillbirths. You might have some uh, uterine malformation, some silent killers such as cysts or uterine fibroid that is causing the miscarriage or some adhesions or even the presence of a lesser known cause of miscarriage which is an immunity factor. Here at Antai Hospital, we have many patients who have been diagnosed with this chromosomal abnormality. They want to get a divorce but when they come to our hospital for a final checkup, when we do a checkup for an immunity factor which means whether or not they have this anti-embryonic antibodies is most likely positive. Most of these couples who were thinking they have chromosomal problems, they are unable to have children together, it's actually not a factor at all. They usually have some other reason. And most like in most cases, it's either uterine malformation or an immunity factor, which all can be diagnosed and treated effectively. So I hope this video can give you a bit of more understanding on the chromosomal abnormality and how it has nothing to do with your miscarriage or stillbirth. There is an organic disease that is causing it and you should actually diagnose it and have that treated to have a successful pregnancy. Thank you.